strengths and weaknesses and getting now reward for their effort. So the C1 men's 500, neither Izekios Dos Santos or Martin Fuxa are here, unfortunately, for this race. But I can tell you there is a quality athlete in there. In fact, the reigning C1 1,000-metre world champion from Romania, Catalin Chirilla, is in this field. There he is in lane four. On his inside from Moldova, Sergei Tanovsky is also in, in this field. He is a quality Moldova athlete, has been Canada, in the medals at an Olympic and world championship level two, for several Boy years. Bernard, and quite a few young France, athletes too in this field race, coming through. Name there down the bottom, the Boncos Bude. Five, making his you debut from the in a uh, senior final. Chen Wei Yu from China, from 21 years old, making his Republic debut China. in a senior Lane final. Yubon Yu from Paddler, better known as a marathon paddler, 22 years of age. In, nine, in, a, uh, in a final here in Seged. Alex Plomtu from Canada, he's uh, better known as a C2 paddler. A, Leonard from France chasing a breakthrough podium for him. Yeah, it's a really interesting field. This the, the standout is Catlin Chirilla, who should, if he's anywhere near his best form, and remembering that he is a 1,000 meter paddler, this is only half the distance. But if he is anywhere near his best form, the Romanian, he should be able to win this quite comfortably. He really is uh, an improved paddler. He was very good in Halifax last year. Uh, knocked off Izaquias Dos Santos, the Brazilian, the Olympic champion, uh, and really, really showed that he is a quality athlete ahead of Paris next year. So he's the one to watch, the Romanian, Catalin Chirilla. The rest of the field, well, it's going to be a very interesting race for the minor medals, and I don't want to get too confident because you can never know what will happen in a World Cup final, especially yeah, because of the great unknowns. The, the two Chinese athletes eight. are very much unknown. Dennis um, from Uzbekistan, he won a B final last year, so uh, let's see how much he's progressed Romania. since then. But they're underway, and there you can see Chirilla is already going out nice and strongly. So right it is Chirilla from Italy. Romania. Lane four, Kirilla, who is the leader at the moment, Tarnowski from, from Moldova on his inside. Three. They are the two quality athletes of the field. But look at Caitlin Chirilla go. He Republic is a China really, really right strong down. athlete. And I know the Romanians are very excited about his prospects for Paris next year. He'll be racing in the 1,000 metres this weekend. That'll be his big focus. But he's showing us already, just like Fernando Pimenta did in the K1 500, that they mean business here in Zegged this weekend. So Chirilla just laying down a little bit of a sighter and and reminding all those who are keeping their powder dry for the 1,000 metres that he is the man. Even the ducks are surprised about how fast this man is going. Look at that style. Perfect action there for the Romanian. Tarnowski trying to hold on, but this is quality, folks. A quality athlete showing how it's done. Catalan Chirilla from Romania. Tarnowski trying to fight back now holding on to the silver medal, but there is no doubt at all about where this gold medal is going. Catalan Chirilla, the big Romanian, taking a gold medal for his country today, crosses the line now. Very impressive. Moldova takes the silver, and it looks like the, the athlete from France, Luc Lennart, who takes the bronze medal. I did say at the start that he's chasing a breakthrough podium Look, Leonard, and he would be very happy now to have finally broken through to take a World Cup medal from France. But we can take nothing away from Catalan Chirilla from Romania. What can we read into this for the C1 1000 final this weekend? I think we can read that Chirilla is in very good form. And he is going to take a power of beating in his pep event. 
And yet another country takes a gold medal on an afternoon where there's been a really good spread across the board. No gold medals yet for the host nation, but will they come? Will they come in the K4 races? Because they are the two races still to be decided. And we know how hungry, especially the women, have such a proud tradition in the K4. Adlan Chirilla really announced himself on the world stage in Halifax last year. And has come through to really make himself known as an early favourite for Paris next year. No Isaquios de Santos here for this weekend for Brazil. Hopefully we might see him in uh, Poznan because I think a race-off between Chirilla and uh, Dos Santos will be worth the price of admission on its own. When you throw in some of the other quality athletes who are racing over the 1,000, it's uh, going to make for an exciting grandstand finish. Lock Leonard, look at him. He'd be pretty happy. He's finally on a podium. Picks up a bronze medal. He's been racing for a little while now, so he's always thereabouts, but uh, hasn't, uh, hasn't won a medal for a long, long time. Thank you very much for your congratulations. And of course, let's take a look at the last second. 